Today we're going to tie the uh, micro pupa, which is a great little subsurface pattern for pretty much every river that we fish in the area. We'll go ahead and get started by wrapping our thread along the shank of the hook. As you can see here, we're just going to make those wraps and they're going to extend beyond the shank of the hook and through the bend. We'll stop right about here, clip out our tag end. Okay, in the next step, we're just going to take our pearlescent crystal flash and we're going to tie that in right there where the thread meets the bend of the hook. And we're just going to make a few wraps, and when we tie that in, um, usually two or three wraps will be fine, and we want that crystal flash so that it splays off of either side. In the next step, we're going to add our thin gold wire, and we're just going to wrap that in, and make nice even wraps back up towards the bead. Once we have that tied in, we're going to continue on towards the bead, take your whip finish, and we're just going to finish that out. About three wraps is all you need. Snug that up. We'll go ahead and take our scissors. We'll clip out the tag end. All right, once we have that taken care of, we're going to create the ribbing of the fly. Just go ahead and take our thin gold wire, and we're going to make nice even wraps up towards the bead. As you can see here, they're pretty much evenly spaced. And we're going to continue on until we get just behind the bead. All right, the next step, we're just going to add our black dot thread make a few wraps, make sure that it's on the shank of the hook, and we'll take that tag end and we're just going to clip that out. Now we're going to take our thread and wrap behind our gold wire to make sure that it's in there nice and snug. And instead of dulling my scissor tips, I just bend that wire till it breaks off. And in the next step, I'm just going to add my white Antron yarn. and We want to tie that in right off the top. As you can see here, we're going to make about four or five nice even snug wraps. All right, at this point, what I like to do is I just like to take the front part of that Antron, pull it back, make a few wraps forward, and what that does is it secures it down, make sure that it doesn't roll from side to side. We'll just take our scissors and clip out the butt ends as closely as possible. And now we're ready to tie down our peacock curl. We're just gonna take a single strand and we're gonna tie that in on the side. Once it's in there nice and snug, just go ahead and make forward wraps. Usually about three to four wraps is gonna do it. That's two make another wrap, make one more wrap, and we'll take our black thread, tying in behind the peacock curl, we're going to make about three to four wraps, secure it down, and again pull it back and make just a couple wraps forward. Take our scissors, snip out the butt end. Alright, now that that's taken care of, we're just going to go ahead and grab our whip finish, and we're going to finish out the head, and we're going to tie off right behind the bead there, about four to five wraps will be just about right. Snug that up, go ahead and clip out your thread. All right, now we're ready to finish up the pattern. We'll go ahead and trim that Antron yarn at about half hook shank length. Go ahead and grab both of those pieces of crystal flash, and we're gonna trim those out at about one hook shank length. And that is our micro pupa. And uh, as we said, this is a great little subsurface pattern that we like to fish on pretty much all of our area freestone and tailwater fisheries.